Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. Let's talk about another special deal. So yes, I will be getting rid of actually uh, selling another one of my projectors. Um, this will be our main projector. Uh, I'm going to be actually letting go our ViewSonic full 1080p DLP projector. Uh, still has a lot of lamp life and it, I barely use this one. This is just basically a showcase projector I use from time to time, but I barely use it. Um, so it's in really good condition, excellent condition, and this projector has a lot of interesting perks. It is full 1080p at 3200 lumens, and it will come with a screen size. I was thinking of 120, but you know what? I'm gonna do 150 inch. I'm gonna do 150 inch, 16.9. You know what? You know what? I'd better yet, better yet. I'm going to give you an option choice. I'm going to give you an option choice for this one only that you can choose the size that you want because you're going to some people or can accommodate 150 inch. Some people can't accommodate 100 inch. Some people can't accommodate 120 inch. Well, no, so this should be to accommodate 100 inch. That's the biggest, large, small screen we make or you can make something smaller than that. So what I'm going to do on the option choice for this particular projector, I'm going to put in an option for the size that you want. So you can choose the size that you want and you can choose the screen color you want. So you have a choice of whether you want it in silver um, a deep silver 4K, which I have right here, or you want it in black. It's up to you. But I'm going to put an option in. So instead of saying it's going to come with this particular size screen, I'm going to put an option just for this and this one only. I don't want people emailing me saying, hey, look, do you sell projectors with your, uh, with your kits? No, we do not. This is some, once in a while, I'll do these special deals, and it's first come, first serve. It's only one projector available. So when it goes, it goes. So and this one's going to be a little different. I'm going to add in a screen size option where you can choose which one you want. Because some people can't fit 150 inch or 120 inch or vice versa, whatever it may be. Or they might have the room for 150 inch and be, you know, get 120 inch. So we're going to do this differently. All right. So I'm going to do a couple of videos showing off the projector. Fully lit environment. Keep in mind with the lights out, it's very easy to do. Some people say, what are you doing with the lights out? <sighs> Cakewalk. Cakewalk. Okay, well, let's keep this. Let's keep this interesting, okay? All right. Now, my projector measuring tape. To show you because of the size of the screen, only by thinking that the projector is sitting right up on top of the screen. We are coming in. That's me tripping over stuff. We are coming at 10 feet and some change. Let me show you where the projector is sitting, so you can see we're not doing anything falsified with tape measure. We're showing that they're side by side. So we're at 10 feet and some change. All right. So let's begin. Got a couple of videos set up here. Get my cell to pop in right. All right, and let's begin. Now, the blackout cloth is weatherproof. It is 3D and 4K ready. It can be used with projectors as low as 50 lumens, which we advise you not to do. Also, to keep in mind, this is an eight-way stretchable surface. Now, the 100 inch to 120 inches, they have a form of kind of spandex kind of design to them. The 150 inches don't, but can be all wrinkles or any imperfections in the screen that you don't like can be removed with a warm iron, not a hot iron, a warm iron on the opposite side. So you can iron out the screen. The screens do come with grommets. If you decide that you want to use them outdoors, and yes, they are fully weatherproof. Here we are 10 feet back, fully lit environment. And you have several different ways you can hang the screen. You can cut it and wrap it around it. You can wrap it around the, um, you can cut it and wrap it around your pre-existing wooden frame. Or if you have some way of actually attaching it outside, you can use the grommets, which come already pre-installed in the surface. But like I said, one available, one available. We don't have three or four, one's available. Once this is gone, it's gone. This is a ViewSonic full 1080p projector. I think this projector came out 2017, I think it was last year it came out. And also too, it has a compartment on the side of it that you can open it up. You can put in actually a Bluetooth uh, to make it wireless. Just showing you some footage of the projector with our screens. 
Now keep in mind, if you're curious, what's this look like on the black screen? I have a demonstration where I had this upstairs in my gaming room. This projector actually was in my gaming room. So I'll put it up there, I'll show you. Sad to say, I hardly ever got a chance to use it because I'm so busy, I never get a chance to even play my games. Literally, I just don't have time to play my games. But I'll show it to you what it's gonna look like on the black blackout cloth. Actually, it was being sent to a customer. And keep in mind, there's no 4K, no 4K upscaling, no calibrating the projector, still setting the factory default settings, and a fully lit environment. We have no shadow-like environments in here. Show some fish. I always like to show some fish. Get an idea how beautiful this is going to look in your home. And keep in mind, these screens have a 190 degree viewing angle all the way around. There's my family of sloths over there. Hey! Look at that. No matter where I turn in this environment, in a fully lit environment, that's me over there, hey, how you doing? In a fully lit environment, these screens have a 190 degree viewing angle. Mind you, I did this on a uh, Dark Star 9 at two to three thousand, the screen was two to three thousand dollars for a Dark Star 9, just for a hundred inch. And I can set my projector anywhere I want. Put it on the floor, put it on the ceiling, it doesn't make a difference, the image is still going to show up. It doesn't have to be in line with the screen, you don't have to calibrate your picture, you don't have to go through any of that. All right, now I'm going to pause this right here. I'm going to, hold on, let me see this one right now. What does respect mean at Santander Bank? Oh, look at a commercial here. Yeah, That's my squeaky poodle, for those of you who don't know. Come down here, I'll drop a little bit down to knee level. I had to move the dining room, everything out from, from one side so I can do this video. And you know they don't last long. I had one projector was up here, it was an ultra short though. I think it lasted like two hours, that was it, it was gone. So it's gonna be first come, first serve. I will put a link at the bottom showing you can just click directly on the shopping cart right in and grab it. I said, we don't do this all the time. It's once in a blue moon. I'll have a projector. I'm thinking, hmm, you know what? Um, I don't need any more. I'm just going to sell it off. And I'll just add in a, a screen with it for the customers. Now, I'm going to pause it here. I don't know how much darkness we're going to get in here because the sun's coming up right now. Let's take our lights out right here and here. All right. Because again, some people are still asking me, well, Ken, how is this going to look with the lights out? So we'll try to darken it just a little bit in here. I don't think we're going to get much. Those of you that are curious about using this in a dark environment, like I said, when a screen, doing a screen with the lights out is easy. It's very easy to do. Consider the fact that when screens first came out, they were all white. So they were all done in dark environments. Very easy to do. The hard part was trying to get a screen to produce an image with the lights on. And that's where develop those for technology technology and screens started, you know, raising the bar when it came to doing uh, board meetings with the lights on, because that's what you want to do a board meeting with the lights on with the projector. So that's why these companies invest all this money into game technology to be able to have a screen to produce an image with the lights on. You know? And one of the one of the bad breaks that a lot of projector a lot of screens get is not bad breaks, we just say they're just uh, typecast is the fact that people think if you get a projector you're going to be in the dark 24 7 that's where you're going to be you want to watch movies sports whatever you want to watch you have to be in the dark you look at the old youtube videos back in the day a little farther back and you'll see all those videos are done in pitch black environments 
no form of light coming through. So this is why the technology, we're having the ability to be able to watch a screen in a fully lit environment is fantastic for a lot of customers because they don't have to be subjected to the dark. They can use their screen in a fully lit environment and not have their friends and family in the dark because of their projector. Treat it like a TV. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna pause it here. All right, I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to lift up the projector over here on the table. I'm going to run the table. First things first, I shut it off. Okay, projector shut off. So I can give you a look at it right here. So here's the back of it. You can see we have plenty. Uh, peripheral visions and the printing of uh, hookups in the back so HDMI and VGA and so forth. The components you'll have back there, right? All the little buttons in the front. I'll plug this right here. That's my Chromecast. Your Chromecast in the front and right here. If I can get the compartment open, there's a little compartment here. Uh, let me see. Let me put my camera down just for me. Go. If I can get to that little compartment over there, on the side of this bad boy. There's a little compartment here. I don't use it much. There we go. Popped open. All right. So there's a little compartment right there that has a USB. Don't worry. I'm going to clean all this up real nice. But there's a USB compartment right in there. I don't know if you can see it. Right in there. Let me see if I can grab my phone for a minute. And bring up a flashlight or something. Okay. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. I can never find my flashlight in my menu. I don't think it's in my menu. My flashlight has delay. All right, so there's a USB adapter right there. So don't worry about this. All this is going to be cleaned up, get this all cleaned up and good to go. But it's a USB adapter in case you want to run a Bluetooth through there and you want to make it wireless. So this projector has a lot of beautiful perks to it. But like I said, it's got the price that it's going to be going for with your choice of your size and screen and color is around, we're going to give it around, let's see, we'll do around um, $598. $598. And with free shipping. How about that? And you got a choice of whether you want this with a 100 inch, 120 inch, 150 inch. Or you can have either in 4K black, or in the black 4K luminous, or in silver. Deep, actually, that'll be the deep silver 4K. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. Thank you all.